Hi and welcome to the show. Today takes us all the way back to 1962 when Henry Ford put in a bid to buy a Ferrari. Now this was turned down and made him furious. So with the whiz of Carroll Shelby, they built a world beater. They built the Ford GT40. They took it to Le Mans in 1966 and came first, second and third. And just to show that it wasn't luck, they repeated the wins in 67, 68 and 69. That saw Ferrari out of the picture. The one we'll be driving today is a 5 litre 302 cubic inch, which makes more than ample power as this car only weighs a ton. It's called the GT40 because it's only 40 uh, inches high. Yeah, the highest one of the car is 40 inches high off the ground. And that's why that's such a fantastic centre of gravity and this is going to go really go. Round corners fast. Not mounted engine, so it's got, yeah, so it's got it's perfect excellent balance. weight weight distribution. Front and back's excellent. 50, yeah. 50. Oh, that's brilliant. Doncy, Doncy, how's it, mate? Can you, bud? Lucka, lucka. Yeah, I missed a really good ride today. Yeah, but you want to hang out with the brake shitters, I mean the brake sitters. <laughs> so, sorry, but yeah, yeah it, was no, absolutely, it was absolutely epic. <clears throat> it's a legendary car, and it was absolutely awesome to ride. I've never, I've never driven one. And this really was a treat to me. No, that's one car one I treats, always. Your bucket list car. Yeah, to... it was really a bucket list car. Hey. That's one car I really had to drive. Yeah. And although this is a replica, it's. To me, it's as good as the original. No, 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 no. So yes, we're going to smoke some pork belly, and you had a bit of an idea to stuff it with some bone marrow and biltong. Now I've never done it before. I think neither have I. Neither have I. Pork belly, give it a smoked pork belly is delicious, that we know, and stuffing it. So we'll stuff it up with something. We'll get those bones on, and yes, let's see how it tastes. I think it could work. So the first thing we want to do is spice up these marrow bones. So Dorsey suggested we use lamb spice because there's something just great about it. So while the bones are getting ready, let's prep that bed. <laughs> Got the mustard, let's get the bolt tongue in. Sprinkle it to the little Worcester. Next thing we want to do is get the marrow out. Let's finish it off with a couple of herbs. So we finished smoking, let's finish this up on the bry. We want to get that skin nice and crispy. <laughs> what an awesome episode, having a lot of fun. Shout out to the boss, we're in the middle of suburbia, in the bushveld, doesn't get better than that. Shout out to me too, for the awesome pork belly, you guys rock. This stuff is absolutely awesome. Guys, until next time, have fun. <laughs> <laughs>